Hello everybody, Luke back once again. This time to break down everything we know about Bayonetta 3. Now, Bayonetta is a hack and slash game first released back in 2009 with a sequel in 2014. Now, after about seven years, we're finally getting more information on the third installment. This hack and slash franchise was one of the few to be released in the Nintendo Wii U of this game type. Now, Sega and Nintendo are teaming up once again to bring the franchise back, this time to the Nintendo Switch as an exclusive. Details have been very thin since it was announced back in 2017, but we're finally getting some new details, even though they're very limited. We're going to be breaking down everything we know right now about the game, including some credible rumors that have come out. So we're going to dive in this deep, but first, if you're new here, do me a big favor, help us grow this brand new channel hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We would really appreciate it because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully we can help you learn something new. We do all the research for you so you don't have to and put them together in easy to understand videos like this one. By hitting that subscribe button, by hitting that thumbs up, you let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here and hopefully we can help you learn something new. Now, first, let me point this out before we get any farther into this. There are very few videos released of this game. This is pretty much all the footage I could find that was officially released. So we're gonna have to loop this a few times. I apologize that you're not gonna see a lot of unique new video here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new. There have been a lot of rumors though that this game may have been canceled. The recent lack of any news at E3 a few months ago led me to be very concerned that the game would not ever be released and had quietly been canceled. Now it's been confirmed by the developers and Nintendo that that's not the case. The game is still in development, reportedly, very far in development and doing quote well in development. We'll see what that means later, but that they are still working on it and that hopefully we'll get a lot more information soon. Bayonetta is being once again headed by one of the former leads from Devil May Cry series, a well-loved hack and slash game. You can expect that the same hack and slash gameplay will return from previous versions, but new and improved. According to the developers, they don't want to just make the graphics better. They don't want just a slightly altered story. They want to dramatically improve this game, help it really stand out and make the seven or eight year wait as it's probably going to be worth it. According to the developers, the third game will pick up from where the second game left off, though with time travel being a big part of this game, exactly what that means is anyone's guess. We'll have to wait and see how it exactly follows. They're being very tight-lipped on the story, other than to say they really want to expand it, make it a far deeper one with a lot more to do in the game than previous installations of it. Now, it's kind of a trend right now to go open world. So far, we haven't heard any details about this becoming an open world game. The hack and slash, you kind of think it would remain in more of a more traditional hack and slash linear storyline. And that's what a lot of the leaks have pointed to. We'll have to wait until later this year when they give out details. The developers have said they intend to release details about the game this year, though sadly we have not received any confirmed word on when that will be happening. Now, the game is scheduled reportedly for a 2022 release date, always subject to change. Nintendo did recently update it, their release schedule for a whole lot list of games and released it as a to-be-announced title, which is good. It's still listed as in development and coming. We'll have to wait. Bayonetta 3 will be a Switch exclusive, which is a different change. The previous generations came out on multiple consoles, but now Nintendo and Sega have partnered to make this a Nintendo exclusive. Will that mean they're going to tone it down or is Nintendo going to loosen up a little bit and allow more of the uh, raunchy side of this game to be shown? We'll have to wait and see. What do you think? Are you still excited? Are you a fan of the series? Are you looking forward to the third installment? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. But hopefully we can help you learn something new. Now, if you're new here, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. We break down everything we know about games as they come out and as we get details about them we post updates like this one so by hitting that subscribe button you can find out about a ton of games and get updates about this when we learn more we really appreciate your support in just a couple months we've grown very quickly and we're very appreciative of that support our goal is to hit about 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year can you help us do that leave a comment hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button help us do it so until next time, we'll be back with another video real soon.